Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a little designer dupe video with bags and shoes because last time I just did bags and you guys seem to really like that. And I've also been noticing that at the moment there are some like very designer inspired shoes on the high street. So I picked up a couple of shoes and I've got a couple of bags to show you guys in this video. Um, so I will link my previous video down below. And I also did a blog post recently on designer dupe bags on the high street, but I've included all fresh bags here, so you can go read that blog post too. If, like me, you love a good designer dupe. So without much further ado, let's get into my finds. First of all, my hair is wet, and I quite like the wet hair look, but it will probably turn dry by the end of this video, so if I look completely different at the end than I did at the beginning, it's because my hair's drying. I brush my hair like this, and it just sort of dries in the position that I like, so... I'm leaving it and I just wanted to film this video as soon as I got out of the shower, so there we go. Okay, so the first bag I'm gonna show you is a bag that I see a lot on Instagram and I think everyone's got this dupe now, but I'm gonna show you it anyway. And it is this one from Mango and it is a perfect JW Anderson dupe. The JW Anderson ones are yeah, pretty much exactly the same as this. The holes here like a little bit bigger, but other than that, it's like exactly the same. I think high streets are just doing really good designer dupes these days. I don't know whether like, they should even be allowed to do it. Like, this is just so good. But it's not leather, and it is a fraction of the price. I believe the JW Anderson one is like 1,100, and this is 50, I believe. So yeah, a pretty good dupe. I'll try and link all of the pictures of the bags I'm talking about, so then you can compare my dupe finds with the real deal. They also have red in this bag on Mango, but red was sold out, and I would have actually preferred red, so that's why I'm keeping the uh, packaging on, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one or not but it's a really good bag. This basically does nothing. Ow. That does nothing, nothing. But it has one main compartment, which is really big and spacious and kind of like opens up well, which I like. It's not too rough and sturdy because it's not leather. So I thought it might be like really hard. The zip, glorious. And I like the fact that it's a chain. So it makes it look a little bit more expensive. So that I think is a very, a very good dupe. The next bag I love, I think it's so cute. It's this little velvety sort of quilted um, material, which is very, very small. I think it'd be perfect for like autumn, winter, going out, party season coming up. Again, it has a sort of like chain detailing. I'm leaving all the stuff on um, and it can go crossbody. So I think that would be a really easy night out winter bag and it just has one little compartment. I just think it's really cute. I think it's a good dupe for the sort of YSL quilted bag or a Gucci bag. Either way, it's sort of like has some sort of designer feel to it, even though it's very, very cheap. It is by a brand called Glamorous, but I found them on ASOS. So I will link that down below if you want to find it as well. It's this really nice wine color, which I feel is very autumn wintery. Sack. Slightly different from the whole like boxy cute bags that I keep picking up and loving, but it's this little black bag with a slightly like fake suede look. It's not actually leather again, it's from Mango. Um, and I think this is a perfect Chloe Faye dupe. You know, the one that has like a ring here and then the chain comes off the ring. Sorry, I'm leaving these on again because I don't know which ones I'm gonna be keeping. But yeah, it's like a really, really good dupe. I don't know why I didn't, haven't seen this before. And I was looking for uh, like a mini backpack, mini, um, for ages, so slightly annoying that I just bought one from Guess, but this is a really perfect one. Um, I will link my Guess mini backpack what's in my bag video down below because I did a video on that bag, which I still love, but this is another great backpack. Um, but yeah, so it opens up with a little popper here. Ooh. And then inside, it's got like one big compartment and you can undo this, which sort of like keeps it all together. And then it just becomes a little bit of a bigger bag. But yeah, I think that's a really good functional bag, like a good work bag, a good winter bag. Very, very functional. And a girl just needs functionality. So the next dupe I actually featured in a different color in my last uh, designer dupe handbags video, which I will link down below if you wanna see that one too. But this one is in yellow and it's from ASOS. And I just love these bags. Everyone seemed to love this last time and loads of people were upset when it sold out. So I think they don't have it in pink anymore, but they have it in yellow. And this is only 30 pounds. I think it's a really good Gucci Dionysus, is that how you say it? Dupe. I mean, it's not perfect. There's lots of differences that Dionysus is like a different, you know, shape. It's obviously Gucci, so it's not ASOS. And this is not leather, but I think it's really cute. It has a little pop of color. And although it's not like spring, summer anymore, I just like the fact that it's colorful and bright. Like you can wear a whole black outfit, wear this, have a little pop of color. When it has this like crossbody gold chain, gold hardware, this really nice strip, which is very Gucci-esque. 
So yeah, I think this is a great designer dupe. Okay, so this is my next dupe and it is from Aldo and I love Aldo for like designer dupe bags and just in general, their bag designs are really, really good. They're really cool, really quirky, really cute. Um, so even if they're not like designer inspired, they're also really interesting. Um, but I found this one, I think it's a really good YSL sort of a satchel kind of quilted look. This is also velvet material and I just think it looks just like it apart from the YSL one obviously has YSL there and then it has a chain strap whereas this one has like a crossbody velvet strap which I don't love but for the price it's pretty good. This is £50 and then it opens with a little popper and it just feels really good quality and it has like two little compartments there so you can put your phone, your wallet, there's also like a little side pocket so you could just put your change in there which is why I tend to do on a night out like put my money in there and my like, ID and then just sort of phone, lipstick. That's it. So yeah, I think this would be perfect for a little clutch with the option of crossbar day, which is always a positive in my eyes. So as I say, I was looking for some kind of shoes to also have in this designer dupe uh, video. So I found these from River Island and they are just some really cute loafers. Basically, there are some Gucci fluffy loafers. And although the fluff on the Gucci ones is here and the fluff on these is on the top, I still think they're a really, really nice shoe. You know, the thing with designer dupes is they don't have to be exactly the same, they can just be inspired and you get the whole designer feeling. I think these little bars on the top give a really nice look and make them look a lot more expensive than they are. They were 32, yeah, 32 pounds. And also what I love about these is I have slightly wide feet and these fit me perfectly. I didn't have to go a size up, which sometimes I have to do because otherwise my foot slips off the back because my feet are too wide. But these fit me perfectly and they're really, really comfortable. So the next pair of shoes I'm really excited about because I think they're a really good dupe, but I also just love them as a pair of shoes. However, I shall not be keeping them because they fit me personally, horrendously. So I will be getting a bigger size because they are just way too small. So it's these little babies from Mango again, and they're sort of velvet kitten heels, very Dior. Dior has like pretty much this pair of shoes, but with a white strap around here and then they say Dior, Dior, Dior. And yeah, little small kitten heel. This has like a really kind of strange heel, if you can see that. But I really like it. It was just a bit too tight for me around here. As I say, I've got quite wide feet. And this bar is not stretchy at all. So if you have slightly wide feet like me, you might want to go up a size so that you can get your damn feet in them. Very kind of elegant, chic shoes in general, but they are a very good Dior dupe if you're looking for some kitten heels. Here we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with what I'm doing over here on my YouTube. Everything I mentioned will be linked in the description bar below. And my top, I love, is from La Sula. So I will link that down below. And I just bought this necklace, but I don't think I'll be able to link that because it's from a cute little shop in the next village. Please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video if you did like it. Um, so yeah, see you next time.